Russia is still living in the Cold War era. That's what a former top diplomat of theirs told political reporter Morgan Reiner today in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. She joins us now. Morgan. Ananda, this is a picture of President Clinton signing the Budapest Memorandum of 1994. It's what recognized Ukraine as a sovereign nation in exchange for them giving up their nuclear weapons to Russia. It's Andrei Kozarev seen right here, right next to the flag who authored the deal for Russia. He was their first minister of foreign affairs, but now he has nothing but words of criticism for the government he used to help run. You have said that Russia is still living in the Cold War era. Does it stop with Ukraine or do you think that Russia is going to try and expand further than Ukraine? Definitely. If they are not stopped uh, in Ukraine, and that's why the Ukrainian resistance and that's why help to Ukraine by the United States and uh, other NATO countries, uh, uh, Western countries, uh, so crucial because if they are not stopped there, it would be just a stopover for them. What else can the U.S. and our European allies do to stop Russia while they're still in Ukraine without, like you said, putting in military forces because some of the NATO countries aren't ready for that? Yes, not use uh, so-called uh, boots on the ground, but as you said, uh, like provide a air defense, but you can provide air defense just giving them uh, the missiles which, uh, uh, you know, down the, the planes, uh, the enemy planes. So that should have been done uh, earlier. Some in Russia criticize you for being too westernized, for trying to build a relationship with the U.S. and other Western democracies. Do you believe that there will ever come a day where Russia will have a strong working relationship with some of the other large democracies in this in this world? Well, they still do, and they, even more than ever. Uh, right now, they, they criticize me almost daily on, on the Russian TV uh, for being so-called pro-Western and so on, which I am. Uh, I want Russia to be in, in good relations, in partnership, if not alliance, with the most developed countries of the world. Andrei Kozarev does not believe, however, that Putin will use nuclear warfare as revenge on NATO countries if they intervene. He believes that Putin knows that will be self-destruction and doesn't think Putin will risk it. All right, thank you, Morgan.